What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. If you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. This is the first time I've reviewed a scooter on this channel. This is the GoTrax V2. Now in this video, I did not do an unboxing for you. That's just boring. I'm not shooting this thing from my, my living room. That's boring, I've seen people do that. The unboxing, yeah, it comes in a box. It's got some styrofoam, blah, 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 whatever. I'm coming to you from downtown Austin. It's probably one of the best skylines uh, in Texas, arguably, in my opinion. Dallas, don't wanna hurt your feelings. San Antonio, I know, I know, I know. Houston, yeah, whatever. Austin, pretty cool. Back to the scooter. This video is not gonna be just a read off the, off the manual. Uh, yes, the scooter has a top speed of 15.5 miles per hour, a distance fully charged of nine to 12 miles per hour, and a total weight that it can handle is 220 pounds. Nah, that's not what we do here. We do fun stuff. This thing's gonna hit some jumps. Woo! I'm gonna find some sweet jumps for you guys, maybe do some burnouts, some sweet tricks, you know, whatever. Make it entertaining. I'm gonna be honest with you, a scooter review on a scooter that does 15.5 miles per hour, not that exciting. So I'm gonna try and spruce it up for you guys a little bit, but let's get into the details. All right, so starting from the front, this is a front wheel drive scooter. It's a hub motor, it's in the front, no motor in the back. So it's gonna pull you instead of push you. It's got air in the tires, preferably, they like the tires to be at 50 PSI. The brake is a cable brake. It runs up here, brake lever on the, on the left side here. It's a cable brake, not a hydraulic brake. It's got a little disc. It brakes okay. I need to adjust it a little bit. The headlight on it, the headlight right here, it's, uh, you know, it's about as good as a candle, I'd say, but it'll get you home in a pinch. This is the, uh, the brake lever, plastic lever. The bell makes a huge sound. Cover your ears. Oh, that's gonna get some attention. Right here, this is the on off. Hold this button for three seconds, comes on, goes off. This is the charge port back here. Charges in about four hours from full. It's also got cruise control. You hold this cruise control down for 10 seconds and you let off, it'll just keep going at its, at its full speed. Now the full speed on this scooter is 15.5 miles per hour and it does its damnedest to keep you from going over 15.5 miles per hour. I was going down a huge hill and it wouldn't even let me coast past 15.5. So just keep that in mind. 15.5 is about the max. So looking here, this is how it folds up. You just pull this pin, pull it, pull this red lever out, and then it comes down. And that's it. You wanna unfold it, you wanna take it out of your car, just take this up and then it clicks, in the, clicks into place. Easy peasy. Kickstand. Perfect height. One thing I will say about mine is it did come in the box damaged. This back fender right here came in, it's got a crack in it. I don't know if you can see that with the sun right there in my shadow, but it's got a crack in it right here. You know, I don't think that's the scooter's fault. Probably something happened to it in shipping. I'm not too terribly concerned about it, but if I wanted to write the company, I could probably get a replacement for it pretty easy. Four screws right here, bada bing, bada boom. And what ends up happening when you fold this down, when this arm folds down, this little hook catches on this right here. So when you fold it down, it hooks in and it, uh, you can pick it up and carry it. But anyway, enough blabbing. Let's get this thing out of here on the trails. Let's go tour this city, show you around. Let's see what we get on our range. I'll show you what the dashboard looks like. Pretty simple, just shows you a miles per hour and a battery indicator of four bars, 25, 50, saying 500%. Super simple, but anyway, let's go check it out. All right guys, if it looks like I'm sweating my ass off, it's because I am. It's about 335,000 degrees here in Texas. Something I wanna compare this to is these bird scooters. You're probably more familiar with them in your city, bird or the lime scooters or whatever. I found one here, they're all over the city of Austin. I mean, literally all over, littered in people's yards, in the rivers, on the trails, whatever. But here, I wanna take a minute to just kind of compare the size. So looking at the scooter, it's not that much smaller than this bird scooter. It's about the same length. Let's say the bird scooter is maybe three to five inches longer. The tires are a little bit bigger on the bird or on the, yeah, the bird scooter. The stem is a little bit taller, maybe three inches taller. The deck's a little bit wider. And the bird scooter has two brakes and it's probably better built.
I think that dude thought I was Sir Monster, just way more jacked because I have a helmet on with a face piece and a GoPro on my helmet. We're pretty much the same, Sir Monster and I. No, I'm kidding. Love you, Sir Monster. One thing I'll say about this scooter is it's not very powerful. It's not going to get you up any hills really fast and you might end up having to push it. I'm down here in in Austin. This is downtown Austin. This is called the Town Lake Trail or Lady Bird Lake, some people would call it. The scooter is perfect for this type of condition. You know, this crushed granite, commuting type city, urban lifestyle that some people live. The scooter is perfect for that. So the camera probably didn't show how big a hill that was that I went up and it wasn't that big of a hill, but it had a hard time getting me up the hill. I'm about 190 pounds on a good day. Got the cruise control set. I'm just cruising through here, about 15 miles an hour. Easy going. I gotta find some jumps for you guys. I promised some jumps and some tricks. I'll be honest with you. I don't do tricks and I'm not a really good jumper, but you know, I talk a big game. But I'll try to do some jumps. Hope I don't kill myself on camera. But ultimately, yeah, I would, I would buy this if I lived downtown here and I didn't want to rent one of these junky scooters, you know, with a lime or whatever. I, I would have my own scooter. I like to have my own thing, uh, to be honest with you, my own method of transportation. So I would probably just buy one of these and go back and forth, you know, however I want. You did? Oh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going, man. I'm just no, checking that trail out a little bit. I'm the last guy you want to follow. Follow you once, shame on you. Follow yeah. You twice, shame on me. Yeah, well, I'm following you now, so don't do me dirty. I think we got this. With our powers combined. Scooter's super lightweight. I just picked it up and carried it up those stairs. Super, super easy. Portable. And I tried finding some jumps for you guys and it's, it just didn't work out. The same. It does 15 miles an hour. It's not enough to really get any jumps. It's kind of lame as far as the, the stunts and the jumps go. So it is what it is. Smoking the reefer bra. So I guess my final thoughts on this scooter is kind of like I mentioned earlier, it's really good for this type of riding. City stuff, door to door, to work and back if you were if you live or work you know within a reasonable distance that something like this could could benefit you especially for the price you know pull it out of your house go to work charge it charge it at work ride at home you know easy day and what is the price i think it's like 260 bucks something like that i'll put a price right here on the screen so you guys know exactly how much it costs and i'll include a link in the description of where i got it if you're still with me and you enjoyed the music and you enjoyed the content you found some use in it Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe button, you know, send it to your buddy via the share button down there. Do the social media thing. Be a bro or a sister, you know, if you're watching this. Hell yeah to all my sisters. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. And we're dead. All of 
us here at Channel 4 News. I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. Thanks for stopping by.